So, uh, Grant, uh, to get started, would uh, you just share with us what is the NESC and why why is it important for uh, utilities? Sure, Malcolm. Uh, so we're here talking about frequently asked questions with the National Electrical Safety Code. So that's the safety code that covers utilities down to the meter. It's a lot like the National Electrical Code, which covers the building wiring. Most people are familiar with that. This is the safety standard for the NES or for the utilities. Uh, we also use a lot of uh, stripped down figures from McGraw-Hill's NESC handbook. Uh, that's a great reference. Uh, if you're trying to understand the code, the legal wording in the code, uh, Dave Marn did a great job of doing a lot of drawings and, and illustrations that show us how that works. So, Very good. So, so Grant, you took in, uh, I heard you mention uh, safety code. Is, is the NESC also considered design code or is it strictly safety? <laughs> No, you hear that a lot, Malcolm. The, safe, yep. the NESC is a safety code, not a design code. So it covers, uh, when it comes to design, maybe you know clearances, how th close things can be to the ground. It covers safety factors, but it doesn't tell you how to calculate the loads or the weather or how that wire changes. Yep. And, and a good example, a question I often get is about, uh, does the NESC limit pole deflection? And uh, is that something that you find in the code, Grant? Or? Uh, no, there's no specific limit on it. Uh, the, the code does talk about pole deflection in a few places, says we have to take it into account, but again, it's a, a safety code, so it doesn't tell us how to do that. Um, you know, it could be that your pole leans and it affects your clearances. We have to take that into account and we'll, we'll actually talk uh, a little bit in the answer to one of our first questions about maintaining clearances and spacings where we'll cover a little bit of that. <laughs> 